Greetings from Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Center, Kochi. This is the virtual induction meeting for the newly enrolled learners of the July 2021 session. Induction meeting is nothing but the first meeting between the distance teaching institution, in this case, the Indira Gandhi National Open University and the learner, and to share about the modalities of what has to be followed while studying with IGNO. How to study with IGNO? In this session, you will be uh, sharing about the objectives of IGNO, the features of IGNO, the achievements, and what are the things you have to do as a learner to uh, ensure that the access to the program of study leads to successful completion of the program. So, uh, the uh, main objectives of IGNO, if you have seen in the common prospectus, it is also freely downloadable. And so you can please download the same from the Indira Gandhi National uh, Open University website and keep it in your uh, machine. And so that you can use it for a reference whenever you need. So this information has all, all been called out from uh, the uh, prospectus, student prospectus of Indira Gandhi National Open University. So the objectives of IGNU are to advance and disseminate learning and knowledge by diverse means to provide opportunities of higher education to a large segment of population, to promote educational well-being of the community, and the features of IGNU are the national and international reach. So what is the take-home message for you as a learner is, suppose you are migrating outside India, still you can approach the international cell and take the student support services related to the study with IGNO. And within the nation, in the Indian subcontinent, if you want to move across, irrespective of the state of enrollment, in your case, the Cochin Regional Center in the state of Kerala, if you're, if you're certain that you are going to another state, for you can still continue the program of study. And the flexible entry qualifications, so when you are in the first year or the second year, still you can plan of certain certificate programs so, uh, to add on to your uh, existing qualifications. So on the long run, you will be more qualified and preferred in the job market after the successful completion of the current enrolled program. And there is a wide range of academic programs at affordable cost. So you can always introduce the, the academic programs of ECNO to one of your friends. So who will be interested in uh, studying besides their uh, mobility of uh, related to job, the, the social needs, and also personal commitments. And the flexibility in terms of place, space, and duration of study is also a feature of IGNU, and it will help you to uh, face your program of study by submitting the assignments. And irrespective of the place of your origin, you can still take uh, the exams at the preferred place. And the duration period is also flexible in that beyond the minimum prescribed duration, you can take it up to the maximum valid period. And there is an effective and integrated student support services network, which uh, facilitate the learner to be in touch with the uh, distance teaching institution, in this case, Indira Gandhi National University, so that the access into the program will lead to successful uh, completion of the program, culminating in getting the certificate. And the achievements of IGNU, as a uh, learner, you should know the achievements of IGNU because you should be proud of to which institution you are attached to. See, it is recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning in 1993 and the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by Commonwealth of Learning in 1999. And UNESCO has declared IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010. And it has the largest network of learning support system and it has been accredited as A++ by NAC in 2021. So having come across the objectives, the features, and the achievements of uh, the IGNU, now it is time for us to share of how, what are the things you need to do if you want to study with the IGNU. 
you should know the deadline. There is a deadline for assignment submission. There is a deadline for you to apply for the term and examination. And also there is a deadline for you to apply for the convocation at the verge of completion to so that you get the certificate in time. And so you know the rules, how you know the rules by studying the common prospectus and also the program guide. The program guide can be downloaded from the website. And if you in any Google search, you just put whatever you want related to ECMO, it takes to the website and it also helps you to download the material. All information can be downloaded free of cost. Know the prerequisites. See, there are core requisites, there is prerequisites. Only if you fulfill a prerequisite, it can lead to the next action from your end. For example, submission of assignment response is a prerequisite for the term and examination, uh, for, um, writing the term and examination. And submission of term and examination application form is a prerequisite for writing the term and examination. And th there is independent learning. So no, uh, once you are enrolled, see it's on voluntary basis. Of course, there are schemes to uh, refund your fee or reimburse your fee, and there are free ships also available, but still the learning process is independent. So what are the things which you need to know as an independent learner is the IGNU website. IGNU website is www.ignu.ac.in. In the home page on the right hand side top, there will be a search column. So whatever you want to uh, a view for searching or the documents related to the accreditation, the validation of a program, all are available and you can be downloaded. Second is you need to know the YouTube channel of Indira Gandhi National Open University Cochin Regional Center. For 10, around 10 programs, we uploaded the online counseling session, uh, recorded videos. So before you get your share, for the current one. You can always start viewing it and be benefited. And the uh, independent learning is also viewed for your preference to apply for the examination and also of how you are going to progress your study from the whether you want to intend to complete within the minimum period of study or the maximum period of study and self-faced. So you have to set your goals to fulfill the deadlines to by knowing the rules and also to ensuring that by fulfilling the prerequisites while you are doing your job, your social commitments, besides your personal challenges also. And the next one which we want to highlight is please do the self-check exercises while studying the self-study material. The study material are teacher inbuilt, meaning there will be, it will be, the material will be written in an interactive tone. So when you are reading it after a phase of how we, uh, there is a break in our ordinary classroom also for moving from one session to the other, there will be a break by means of self-check exercises. So while studying the self-check uh, st study material, please do the self-check exercises so that you get accustomed to the content what, of what is being taught or deliberated as a part of academic transaction in the study material. And also attend the theory counseling session, even though it is not compulsory. At least if you should be able to view the YouTube videos which has been uploaded after the uh, uh, conduct of the online counseling session. How to study with IGNU when it comes to assignment questions. So there are specific assignment questions for each session and the answers which we write to the assignment question are called as assignment response. And so it has to be handwritten and also it has to be ensured that you do the assignment question after studying the study material. And so it is a prerequisite for writing your term and examination also. So, so in other words, the assignment response will face you uh, to regulate your uh, uh, the way you study the study material and also prepare you for the term and examination. And the old question paper 
are available in Indira Gandhi National Open University website www.ignu.ac.in and we uh, please feel free to download it. There are June session and December session and you can download it and use it for your reference while studying the study material and preparing for the term and examination. And now having uh, viewed of how to study with IGNU after having a brief about the objectives of IGNU, the features of IGNU, the, ach the achievements of IGNU, and we also touched upon uh, how you have to face your program of study as an independent learner and also need to fulfill the prerequisites of as it is in the submission of assignment response, the submission of a term and examination application form. Now it's time for you to know the significance of enrollment number, the difference between fresh admission and pre-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made available at IGNU. And this session will be handed by Madam Sujini Babu. Over to Madam Sujini Babu. Uh, good afternoon all. Uh, dear learners, uh, today I'm going to share with you some details on uh, your program, enrollment number allotted to you by the university, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, your study center, maximum period to complete the program. That means validity of your re registration. Uh, first slide, please. First, know the program. Uh, what you you should know while studying with IGNU related to the program of study. You should know the program code, program title, the course code, and the course title. For example, if you have enrolled for Masters in Psychology, MAPC is your program code, and the program title is Master of Arts in Psychology. Likewise, the various subjects are also identified by course title under course code. Uh, second slide, please. Next is enrollment number allotted to you by the university. Dear learner, did you observe your enrollment number? Once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed, you will be allotted with a unique number, which is the enrollment number. The university identified the student by the enrollment number. Therefore, it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university regarding your program Enrollment number is mentioned uh, in your university identity card, which can be downloaded from the IGNO website. Third slide. The enrollment number is a uh, nine digit unique number for those who registered till July 2019 session. However, for those who have registered for January 2020 and July 2020 uh, 20 session and afterwards, uh, means uh, after 2019, uh, enrollment number has 10 digits. You have to keep this in mind. Okay, so next uh, slide, please. Now, what is the difference between fresh admission and re-registration? Uh, fresh admission, when you come to the re uh, regional center or study center, you will be asked of whether you are a fresh student or a RR student. Hence, first you should know the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you register with IGNO for the first time, either of uh, first semester or first year, for any program is on offer is called fresh admission. Whereas re-registration is when you register for your second semester or second year after an year or a semester. It is not mandatory that you have to complete all the components of your first year or first semester for re-registering your second year or second semester. University has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also take re-registration through online form uh, from the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Uh, next slide, please. Now, uh, know your study center. The university has established its study center at various system colleges or higher education institutions. Each study center has its unique center code. For example, Sacred Heart College, Tevera. Uh, this is one of our study center. The study center code is code of SS Tevera is 
1402. Each study center has its own IGNO study center code. It will start from 14 for Cochin. You should know your study center code, uh, study center name, and address for availing academic support and also for submission of your assignment. You have to submit your assignments at the study center. One important thing you have to keep in mind that uh, regional center is not your study center. Next slide, please. Next is maximum period to complete the program. Uh, maximum period indicate the validity of registration. Each program offered by the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way. It is very important that the learner is well aware of the valid period of uh, your registration. There were instances like the student submitting the project report or dissertation after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university. So uh, to know your registration validity, you may visit uh, the university website. Student has the choice to complete the program either within uh, the minimum period or maximum period of validity. I uh, hope you all have got an idea about your program, enrollment number, study center, and valid validity of your registration. Uh, that brings me to the end of my session. Thank you all. Uh, next, uh, Dr. L. Chandrasekharan, PS of Regional Center Coaching, will be briefing you the history of IGNO Regional Center Coaching. Thank you. Over to Chandrasekharan, sir. Uh, thank you, Sujini. I welcome you all uh, to this session to know the IGNO Regional Center Coaching and facilities at Learner Support Center. Now, when we see the history of this regional center, that is Cochin Regional Center, initially IGNO used to have one regional center for each state. So accordingly, uh, when it came to Kerala, the Cochin was de decided to have uh, first regional center of IGNO in the year 1988. That is 17th November 1988, this Cochin Regional Center was established. And those days, the Cochin Regional Center Catered the entire state of Kerala as well as the Union territory of Lakshadweep. Later on, due to the more number of enrollment and to serve better to the learners, in the year 2009, one more regional center at Trivandrum was established. Then the regional center Trivandrum catered caters now. Kollam, Patnam Thitta, and Thiranandapuram districts. Then, again, when the learners of northern part of Kerala found it difficult to access the regional center of Kochi, because when compared to Kochi and Trivandrum, those learners from those northern part of northern part of Kerala and the northern districts of Kerala, so university decided to come up with one more regional center at Vadagara in the year 2011. The regional center Vadagara caters to Malapuram, Kolikot, Kannur, Enad, and Kasarka. So now let us see about the Cochin regional center. Predominantly Cochin regional center caters to the central part of Kerala, comprising the districts of Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idukki, Alapura, and also the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. There are six districts, the Cochin Regional Center, Katas, as well as the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. <clears throat> so any organization to serve better to its clientele has to have good infrastructure. The Regional Center Cochin has two buildings. One is four-story old building, which is old block, and six-story new block. Those who have visited might have seen these two buildings. And initially, the four-story building was inaugurated in the year 2010, and it houses the regional center Cochin, Gyanwani FM radio station Cochin, and it has also computer labs, classrooms, conference rooms, guest room, recreation center, and library as well. 
the second six story new building was inaugurated in the year 2016 and it houses the regional evaluation center cochin the study center code lse 14000 and the study material warehouse and those who have visited most of, uh, many of you might have visited the regional center for one or the other reason and you might be knowing that it's in a prominent and very conveniently accessible location of Ernakula. So those learners or those who are aspiring to have some uh, further qualification can access Cochin Regional Center from very near to, because it is located to very near to Kalur Metro Station and Kalur Private Bus Stand. Those learners, those who are coming using a metro or private bus, they can get down at Kalur and just walk down to our regional center because it's very so near and those who are coming from the other districts adjoining districts those who are using the train uh, express trains or uh, long distance trains or ksrt bus they can get down at the north railway station or ernakulam junction as ksrt bus terminus and access because it is very easily accessible from all these points and now let us see the websites what are all you can do accessing our igno website mainly there are two websites we have one is igno main website that is www.igno.ac.in the other one is regional center website that can be accessed http colon double slash rccochin.igno.ac.in so every regional center will have its own separate regional, uh, regional center website which will mainly cater to the learners of that region whereas the igno main website will cater to the needs of all the learners across the program because it's all general needs will be addressed by the main website and specific needs of the specific uh, regional center learners will be addressed by Regional Central website. Here, let us see what are all can be downloaded from the IGNO main website. The learners can download their ID card from the main website and prospectus from the main website because learners have to have the prospectus to know the programs, schools of studies, and what are the other programs, uh, course codes, everything will be given in the prospectus that is all the programs offered by the university and those students who wants to download their study materials can also access have to access the igno main website assignment question papers have to have, uh, download it from the igno main website again this program guide there is a difference between prospectus and program guide prospectus will give information about all the programs and about the university schools of studies and other departments whereas program guide will be specific to the program chosen by you so you have to have the program guide to know about your program and pursue it and main website also hosts the old question papers of term and examinations conducted previously so those question papers can be used by the learners for their study and whenever the term and examination is scheduled then the exam date sheet is uploaded in the website the learners to know their exam dates they can download the exam date sheet from the igno main website only and what all can be done by accessing main website learners can do many things by accessing our main website of course now those who are attending the index this induction meeting might have done admission to online so they must be familiar with the main website now again they have to access the same site for their re-registration now you must be aware of a uh, difference between admission and the re-registration so the whenever your semester gets over and the next semester comes or next year comes those who are doing yearly program they have to do their re-registration that comes again at the end of the semester or the end of the year 
so they have to do re-registration by accessing our igno main website again for appearing examination everyone knows that they have to register for their examination to submit that registration form exam form they have to access and use our igno main website of course it comes with the requisite fees <coughs> and those learners after getting the results if they are not satisfactory with the uh, grades they got they can apply for re-evaluation that has to be done by accessing our igno main website only and after successful completion of the program learners are expected to register for their convocation through our igno main website and let us see what are the facilities available at the main website and learners can check their exam results sitting at home so they will be uh, after the successfully completing they will be getting their grade card by post by as soon as it is published they can access their result and if they are not happy then they can immediately within the time frame prescribed they can appear, apply for re-evaluation and so on so they can check their exam results by accessing our igno main website assignment marks whether it is uploaded up, updated those things can be checked through this main website and those learners by one or the other reason if they wanted to change their study center or regional center or whatever it is then after they uh, they make request to the regional center whether it is done or not they can check through the main website so that they can verify and approach the new study center wherever they wanted to change that new center they can uh, approach and get their services done and those who again for one or the other reason those who have changed their residential address for many reasons our phone number or email id those things whether it is updated or not they can access the main website and students corner they can see whether it is updated or not again when they might have received some part, partial study material some courses they would have got some courses they are ready to get in that situation also or any stages learners can check whether the study material have, materials have been dispatched or what is the status or is on the way and so on from the igno main website now the regional website what are all the facilities are given in the regional website now so far we have seen the main website which caters to all learners across the regional centers and it is in general of uh, in general now it is region specific website where the learners of the particular uh, region will be the more majority beneficiaries they can download the induction guidelines which is very important document they have to have in their hand till they complete the program because it will have all the relevant information pertaining to their study within that region and brochures brochures prepared by the region centers are uploaded in the region center website of course the newsletter which is periodical newsletter published by the region center containing the day-to-day -day activities academic activities relevant to the learners of this region are uploaded in the regional center website so that learners are uh, given updated information about the activities going on in this region counseling schedule the learners can download the counseling schedule of their study center which is of course we are all a counseling schedule of all the study centers will be uploaded in the regional center website and it will be available there so the learners can download the particular study centers particular program schedule so that they can attend the program without any difficulty and the regional center website provides provision for submitting the soft copy of the assignments because of this pandemic uh, the university has created a provision to accept the soft, uh, soft copy of the assignment through our website otherwise in the normal course learners are expected to submit their assignment in, the, in their uh, respective study center. 
and the information available in the regional center website what are the information they can get from the regional center website the learners can see the study centers available within that region number of study centers available and where it is located their address and so on and the programs activated in those study centers because all centers all study centers are not activated for all programs so to know and to choose you can learners can access this uh, page so that they can know which study center has which program activated there for the learners third now learners should know whom to contact for what without knowing if they address their mail or grievances queries uh, to a wrong person if it is not to the right person they will hardly get the reply proper reply because and timely reply learners are expected to have updated information to contact whom for what then only they get their uh, request uh, request or uh, requirements fulfilled on time and learners can have the facebook live session uploaded in the digital center website now nowadays uh, we conduct mostly online classes so these online schedules counseling schedules are uploaded in the website learners can uh, download or get that information so that they can join their respective class schedules in the uh, prescribed time and share plot and learners can get the details information regarding their practical examination internship project viva schedules etc from the igno regional center website now let us see the facilities available at the learner support center learner support center provides the academic counseling to the learners academic counseling it's not classes it is only counseling and learners are expected to come prepared studied so that their doubts will be clarified there and academic counseling will be provided for the particular program chosen by the learners of that study center because all as i said all study centers will not have all the programs activated so that but a particular learner support center will provide academic counseling support to those programs activated in that particular study center and till february 2020 we conducted face to face uh, counseling sessions now because of this pandemic situation now it is mostly online or virtual mode is being conducted and learners can make use of the recorded session available in the igno regional website because this will enable them to access those videos whenever they are free wherever they find it comfortable convenient to them so that are also available in the regional center website also and for practical counseling session it will be held only in the particular learner support center it will not be held in any other place like term and examination it will be held only in their respective learner support center <clears throat> for lab courses also the same thing attendance is compulsory for practical and lab courses and learners are expected to be in touch with their learner support center for their practical and lab courses <clears throat> and tutor marked assignments learners are expected to submit the assignment before appearing app applying and appearing for the term and examination and once their assignments are evaluated and their grades are transmitted to headquarters for publication they are advised suggested to collect their evaluated assignments from the study center so that they can use the tutor comments for preparing for their term and examinations and learner support center will provide guidance on project 
internship, field work, workshop, and so on. As I said, theory term and examination will be in identified learner support center only. The term and examination will not be conducted in all the learner support center. It will be only in selected learner support center. So there is a differentiation. Practical will be held in the learner support center. Only theory term and examination will be selected learner support center. So IGNO has a YouTube channel as well as the regional center also has a YouTube channel which you can access at the given link in the slide. So here we have given all the recorded session also is available in the YouTube channel for the benefit of the learners. Now the session regarding the history and facilities available at the regional center and its website is over and now I request Dr. Prasita Unikrishna, Assistant Director, to do, take on further and regarding fee refund for special clientele, scholarship fee requisites. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Chandrasekhar. Uh, you have very well explained uh, the facilities which are available at the learner support centers and the regional center coaching, and also very nicely explained uh, the web sites uh, which the students can access for their benefit so from here on i take uh, i would like to inform students about the fee refund for the special and the scholarship prerequisites there are certain scholarship facilities uh, which our igno learners of the special clientele group can avail especially focusing on the scst learners and the differently able learners So basically, there are three uh, four schemes which are available for the uh, benefit of learners. First is the direct benefit scheme. Uh, this scheme, our IGNO learners must have already availed. SCST IGNO learners uh, must have already availed benefit of the scheme through the IGNO Summit portal, wherein SCST learners have fee exemption for around 84 programs, uh, mainly ranging from undergraduate, um, undergraduate certificate, PG certificate, diploma, and PG diploma programs. Even in undergraduate programs, uh, not all programs have this fee exemption. Uh, only for BA general programs, BCom general, and B, uh, have this fee exemption. So the list of 84 programs which ha have fee exemption is available on the regional center Cochin website, uh, httprcochin.igno.ac.in. Students can just go through the list of the programs which have fee exemption through this direct benefit scheme of IGNO. Next, I come to the uh, scheme of uh, the fee refund, uh, for uh, which is uh, given through the Kerala State Government Scholarship Scheme. In fact, uh, this scholarship uh, scheme is directly given by the uh, Kerala State Government, and the scholarship form is there, which can be downloaded from the IGNO Regional Center Cochin website. The hard copy of the scholarship form is also available uh, in regional center coaching also so you can uh, go to the any of the welfare offices uh, within the district and uh, uh, and get in touch for this scholarship form Part of the scholarship form can also be collected from the social welfare department so uh, students who want to avail scholarship for ug and pg programs uh, especially SCST learners, the form for availing the scholarship, uh, you can uh, fill it up and you can submit it at regional center coaching. So what are the uh, details uh, which are needed while filling up the form is you need to have your IGNO ID card. You also need to have your fee payment received uh, uh, slip from IGNO, which you can download it from the IGNO Samarth portal. You also need to have copies of your certificates from 10 standard onwards, uh, which need to be self-attested. You also need to have your community certificate and the uh, income certificate, latest ones, which also need to be enclosed along with the scholarship form. You also need to uh, uh, have a passport size recent photo. So along with all these documents, you can submit the scholarship form at Regional Center Cochin. And usually it takes around eight, six to eight months to, to get the scholarship, and which is mainly paid either through NEF settlement or through a 
uh, uh, check payment. The next uh, scheme which is also available is through the National Scholarship Portal. In fact, National Scholarship Portal is basically under the National E-Governance Plan and aims to provide a common electronic portal for implementing various scholarship schemes uh, uh, launched by union government, state government, and union territories across the country. In fact, through this portal also, uh, the system itself advises or suggests the students of the schemes which the scholarship schemes uh, which the students can avail and for which the uh, scholarship uh, the student is eligible for. So the website through which this uh, scholarship portal can be accessed is www nsp.gov.in Next, uh, there is a scholarship for the differently abled, uh, which can be uh, which can be availed through the National Handicapped Finance and Development. National uh, uh, Handicap Finance and Operation Institution. Uh, you can also know more about the scholarships which can, can be availed by the differently abled if you go through the website www.nfpc.nic.in. So these are scholarship schemes uh, which I just explained. Uh, maybe all learners can be the same. Next session uh, will be taken by. Uh, my colleague, Dr. V.T. Jalagmari, on the topic, availability of IGNOS e online counseling. I want to welcome you to the session. Our resource person will be joining in a short minute, short moment. Prasida, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Uh, kindly start. Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Kindly start. Kindly go ahead with your session, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Hello.
Due to some uh, technical problems, uh, our resource person could not connect. She will get back as soon as she gets the connectivity. So uh, now I move on to our next uh, resource person, Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan. And I'll just move the slides so that he can take his session. He will be speaking on internal assessment at IGNO and examination and convocation. Uh, Dr. S. V. J. Raghavan, are you there, sir? Yeah, thank you, madam. I am here. Thank you very much. Oh, so, okay. I am Dr. S. V. J. Raghavan, Assistant Regional Director from Mikno RC Kochi. So, today uh, we have to see that internal assessment at Igno examination and convocation. So, internal assessment, it is a uh, internal mark, internal. Internal, uh, suppose we are assessing the candidate, we have to do two patterns one internal assessment another one external assessment internal assessment we are assessing the candidate by using the assignment so that is a 30 percentage of weightage remaining 70 percentage of weightage for external assessment external it is a theory tenement examination so this is the thing next so how the assignment needed to be submitted by the learners at the regional center or their study center that we have to see now. So assignment can be uh, written by candidate itself by handwritten. After handwriting, uh, handwritten assignment needed to be submitted through the uh, Google link. Now we are give a, given the Google link uh, at the Igno RC coaching website. Uh, through that also they can be able to submit or by post uh, sent to the uh, concerned study center for evaluation of the assignment or by hand also they can drop in, uh, the assignment in the drop box at the LSE or uh, regional center. I think it is better they can submit the assignment, they are concerned with learner support center. So uh, suppose uh, it's assignment submission, you first know the question paper, assignment question paper, that is a session wise assignment, assignment question paper we have already uploaded. Uh, in the IGNO uh, website, main website, that the candidate uh, session, fresh, other the current session assignment, they can be able to get it from there and they can write the assignment for the uh, question. Next one. So here you see, now you are seeing the website, how to uh, the question paper can be downloaded from the IGNO website. You go to the main website of IGNO. Their uh, downloads is there. Their assignment downloads you can download for your particular program and course code. That uh, you can uh, use for writing the assignment. That's it. Next one. Next slide. Yeah, the assignment uh, response questions, it is uploaded by the concern school. It is available. You can see your program and your course code that can be uh, downloaded from the uh, website. Then you can use for writing the assignment. That is a current session assignment only, uh, question paper only can be taken for writing the assignment. Next. Next slide, yeah. So here uh, we are uh, going to tell you about how to submit the soft copy of the assignment. Uh, how to submit the soft copy of the assignment uh, uh, for uh, at, at regional center. In this record, we have already given the soft, uh, soft copy of the link in the uh, website. 
in that website the candidate able to uh, log in and scan the copy of the assignment uh, which they have written that in pdf format they can able to upload per course one assignment only you can need, you need to submit it after submission of the assignment you can get it the confirmation also so that you can keep it for future reference in case your assignment not evaluated or the mark is not reflected you can raise a question to the the concerned study center and they can give the response to you and also you can write to regional center also in this record next next slide yeah the please uh, before slide you can go for before slide madam please yeah this is a guidelines for assignment response of copy submission only scanned copy of a handwritten assignment need to be submitted in the uh, that link which we have uh, given google link we have given that through that you can submit it maximum file size is 100 mp so it should not be exceed 100 mp likewise you can make the file for submission of the same and document uh, will be pdf format email submission is not allowed Uh, it means some student they are submitting the assignment through the email to the regional center or concerned study center that cannot be permitted. Only the Google form only you can uh, that uh, which link we have provided that only you can submit it. After submission of the assignment by the learner, we are uh, um, uh, downloading the assignment and we are separating and then we are forwarding to the concerned LLC for evaluation of the same. Submit for only register courses. If suppose four courses you are registered with, you can submit only four courses. Not more than that, you cannot write it. And also, whatever registered course only, you can write the assignment. In case you are registering some courses and writing another course for assignment, it is not valid. For each course, one assignment response need to be submitted. One assignment response at a time, once from uh, one email ID. So while submitting the uh, through the Google link, so you have to use your email ID. Enrollment number and other uh, student details should be entered. This is the thing. While scanning, ensure that the document is readable. So uh, when you are writing the assignment by handwritten, then you are scanning. That should be visible. That should be visible uh, to read. Otherwise, it cannot be uh, evaluated by the evaluators. That's a problem. You have to ensure that the assignment must to be readable after scanning. Then you can submit through the Google link. Uh, once you submit it through online, not necessary to submit the hard copy to the concerned study center or regional center. Any one mode, either soft copy or hard copy, need to be submitted uh, uh, for the assignment purpose. Next, yeah, uh, other internal assessment mechanism. So that internal, I told you, yeah, internal is very essential. Internal is a yeah, part of the system for the education. So here you see the internal assessment, practical through practical, field work, internship, mini project, project with or without viva was. These are all the thing internal assessment pattern. The external is a theory examination, which we are conducting June term and examination and December term and examination. Next one. So term and examination. Now you see. Uh, now uh, we earlier we saw that internal assessment pattern. Now we are going to see that the external assess assessment. That is a term and examination. The term and examination are conducted twice in a year. One June term and examination, and another one December term and examination. Due to the uh, corona uh, pandemic reason, we are uh, some uh, some month we are postponing. Or which is conducted in case of December, we are going to conduct in January. So that may be next term and examination always. It may be the correctly the June December month. Maybe it will be scheduled. Now whatever the SED is giving the schedule accordingly, we are conducting the term and examination. Next one. The term and examination. One thing I want to tell you uh, that the application online application form. Need only needed to be submitted by the learner. So whatever register uh, 
uh, you you register course for the admission that course only you can register for the examination and fifo submission of this uh, examination form through online you need to submit assignment assignment is uh, first you can submit the assignment then only you can able to submit the permanent examination form this is a norms actually you can follow it uh, accordingly the assignment submission is the prerequisite exam fee which is 200 per course per course 200 that needed to be paid through the online by using your own debit card all ticket can be downloaded on the igno website that uh, one week before igno uploading the hall ticket you can download uh, from the one one week before of the examination the hall ticket will be uploaded so then you can download from the igno website uh, your hall ticket for writing the examination next one next one yeah the tenement examination if you can see the tenement examination in Cochin under the Cochin region we have activated around 14 examination centers all the LSE are not examination center that is uh, uh, you, you should know that examination center we are activating uh, randomly wherever the student uh, accessible the area that place we are activating the examination center even the remote area also in Puttadi also we have activated earlier. So all the exam center, uh, all the exam centers which is in all district, we have the exam center for writing the examination by the learner. At the time of filling the online exam form, you can choose any exam center inside India. Uh, inside India, even our coaching student can able to write it to other state also. They can apply it even other state. And other regional center learner also they can able to write the examination uh, under the Cochin juridication, juridiction exam centers. So there is no restriction. Anyone can able to write the examination anywhere in India. Our IGNO learners. So suppose the Chennai regional center learner they can write the examination in Cochin city. That option also available. Even Cochin uh, uh, students they can write the examination in Tuandram or Chennai or wherever. Uh, within the India. So contact international division at IGNO headquarter for appearing examination from outside India. In case some student uh, uh, residing at abroad, they can contact the international division uh, for appearing the examination. Next one. So this is a convocation. Convocation is conducted once in a year. Convocation after successful completion of the program, the candidate eligible to get the, their degree certificate. The degree certificate, before getting the degree certificate, if the candidates completed successfully their program, IGNO sending the provisional and more sheet to their registered uh, address. So they can able to get the uh, provisional and more sheet to their address by post. But convocation degree, the candidate uh, uh, needed to register through the online. So per degree certificate, 600 rupees through a debit card, they can register. Uh, and two mode of the mode, the convocation, they can able to get it. It is a in presence or absent here. In presence means uh, whenever we are conducting the convocation, they can, uh, student can able to register and, and they can choose the option in presence so then they can able to receive the degree certificate in the convocation ceremony in options here the candidate degree which is coming from the scd that is available at rc Kuchin, the candidate will come to a regional center they can collect it by hand or uh, if they wanted to get the certificate by post our regional center also dispatching the certificate by speed post to the concern address that is the thing. Next one. Ah, convocation online virtual ceremony. Ah, this is a old thing. Ah, ah, that date is suppose successful uh, completion of the candidate. Ah, we, we will inform them through the local newspaper and also uh, they are uh, by SMS also for registering the convocation. So that time the candidate able to register for the uh, convocation. 
and then i already told that for certificate 600 rupees the while registering they can pay through uh, the debit card so this one old uh, 34 convocation details mentioning but uh, it's maybe ignore this one next one okay thank you very much next uh, as per the schedule it will be uh, next person will be talk on their title thank you very much Dr. Prasida? Yeah, ma'am, you are available, ma'am. So you can, yeah, uh, yes. I'll just focus your slides and you can start with your session, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the inconvenience cost because of uh, uh, power failure only this happened. No problem, ma'am. You can start, ma'am. Thank you, yes. ma'am. I'll just All introduce right. you, ma'am. Uh, our resource person, Dr. Niti Chalja Kumari, is back. Uh, she had some connectivity issues due to which she couldn't join earlier. So she will be speaking on availability of Igno study materials in e gyan Kush and online counseling. I warmly welcome you, ma'am, to the session. Please continue from here, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, uh, I am apologizing for the inconvenience caused in between. It's an um, unpredictable power failure. Anyway, uh, uh, now I am back. I have to speak on study material and uh, counseling sessions. We know that uh, after getting all the background history of IGNU and how you are learning in IGNU is going on like that, all of the or almost all necessary information you have. Uh, uh, collected or you have obtained from our resource persons, the uh, my colleagues in the regional center coaching. And now uh, I'm sure that you will be very much eager to know about the study materials. Any learner who is coming to the ODS system after getting enrollment in the into the system, they will be definitely uh, uh, asking for or they will be very much eager to know about the study materials because this is the uh, biggest concern for them to go ahead in the open di distance learning system. So I have to tell you about the study materials, uh, provisions, what all provisions are there for uh, distributing the study materials in IGNU. You know that uh, at the time of application form, uh, two options were there for study materials. Considering the importance of the study materials, IGNU became the biggest in the uh, world in 2010, and it has been declared by UNESCO. One of the most important provision for that declaration was the credibility and the excellence of the study materials of IGNO. So that itself will be the key uh, uh, term or the key point of any open distance learner. So you may have to know about the provisions of IGNO study materials. Uh, as I told, you were asking for, some of the students were asking for soft copy study materials and some others were opting for hard copy. If you're asking for hard copy study materials, definitely after enrollment, um, enrollment, you will get that study material by post directly from IGNU headquarters, uh, material production and distribution division. And uh, some other students, if uh, some failure is coming, or some, some gap is coming in the uh, delivery of uh, post, students will be facilitating by regional center also for giving their study materials. That is regarding the hard copy of the study materials. At the same time, some of the learners were opting for soft copy and uh, they were getting a discount of 15 percentage of their fee uh, in uh, concerned with this uh, requirement of soft copy also because we are, we are not giving uh, hard copy study material to that particular learners who are opting for soft copy. And these soft copy are e-study materials. And the hard copies are in the booklet form. So you may know from where you are getting this soft copy study material. Uh, one repository, sometimes it may be one of the biggest repository in the, um, you know, named as e Kosh. 
other than that of this uh, hard copy study material, e Gangoshi is providing study materials to learners. And the hard copy study materials, uh, please, the previous slide, the hard copy uh, study materials are provided uh, through booklets, as booklets, I told you already. And these booklets, uh, you will be uh, becoming familiar with the study materials after getting it. Before that, I have to tell a little bit about that. These study materials or these booklets are in the form of different blocks, means for a one program, sometimes, uh, not sometimes, always, for each program, there are a lot of courses. Courses means papers. So for each course, study materials are given in different blocks. Sometimes for one course itself means for one paper, there, uh, there are uh, multiple copies of blocks. Block one, two, three, like that. For some uh, bachelor degree programs, it is up to eight. So con uh, considering the credit of the uh, course, considering the uh, content, the number of blocks will be deferred, but you have to think some always there will be more than two or three blocks will be there for each course. And these courses, these each blocks are divided into different units. And in units, there are uh, subheadings, subunits are there. And these sub under these subunits, the study uh, matters, the content matters are described. And uh, beautifully, there are many self-assessment mechanisms are also incorporated with the study materials, like um, a self-check, progress check, and uh, some exercise questions and like that. So these study materials will be very much helpful for you to go through your studies in with IGNU. And like that, we have uh, soft copy study materials taken through e -Gangosh. Some other portions are also there. But before I have to tell you about how to download the study materials from e -Gangosh. e -Gangosh, as I told, it is the repository of uh, e-resources of IGNU. Sometimes it may be one of the uh, biggest e-resource repository in the world itself, means among the open un universities. And this e -Gangosh will be visible like this in which way you are seeing this here in the slide, like that, uh, the Egyan Gosh will be visible in the IGNU website, www.ignu.ac.in. And you can download the study materials from this Egyan Gosh. Uh, in the top left corner of this Egyan Gosh, you can type your course code. Course code, you know, our Sujini Madam was telling about the program code and course code. So your course code can be uh, typed in the, left to top corner of this again course and uh, uh, using this keyword the content will be content means the uh, material will be blocks will be appeared you can press the enter key and go to the course name and then you can view the course code a uh, course material then you can download it so you can download the study materials by clicking the course name and uh, course or course code then the next provisions processing to approach to the uh, viewing will be there like that you can download the study material then these study materials have to be kept somewhere in your custody in your system uh, for further uh, purposes and uh, each block will be separately given while downloading each blocks will be separately given in the uh, e and the concerned links under each item, the concerned link is also there. You can keep it with you. And whenever you want to have, you can open it. As we have discussed or we have taught, you can view and open and download it. And you can keep it with you for further purposes. And this will be available from the homepage of the IGNU website. So several times we are discussing about the IGNU web page, web uh, homepage, www.ignu.ac.in. And uh, this will be facilitating you uh, to download the study materials. Beyond this means this beyond this e gosh there is one other one more provision, and uh, for the young learners, sometimes this mobile app will be very much uh, facilitating you to download the study materials, and you can take the study material wherever you go, wherever you are, you can keep abreast with the. Uh, content materials uh, of IGNU uh, programs, that is IGNU e-content app. 
as usual uh, as other apps we are downloading from the google app you can download you e content app this is an android app uh, when you are downloading it that will uh, ask you to install you install it then after installing the app to your uh, handset your system uh, that will ask you to open once it is opened you can view the uh, different uh, programs master degree level programs bachelor degree diploma certificate like that all the program categorization will be given you can click on that which program uh, for which program you have joined in Nibdo, on that you can uh, click then uh, the other the programs included in that category will be coming then from that program category you can click on the particular program for which you have taken admission then the study materials will be opening in different blocks block one block two block three like that it will it will be shown so which block you want to download that you can click on then the study material will be opening this will be this will also be kept in your system for further uses so whenever you want to open it and whenever you want to view it it will be helpful for you you can prepare the assignment also on your travels in train or in if you are away from home then also this will be very much helpful for you if you have an android mobile with you this is the uh, way to download uh, study materials from IGNU eContent app. Then, now uh, you are uh, facilitated with the study materials in um, soft copy and hard copy form. If you are not getting it, sometimes you some students are calling us and asking, uh, Madam, we, we didn't get uh, our study materials yet, like that, they may say. So then also there is a mechanism to track the uh, distribution of study materials. So the MBDD section uh, division itself, they have given a link to uh, view where your study material is uh, held up or is it on the way of uh, or whether yet to be dispatched like that. Uh, many things will be, many information will be available in this link that is what given here, STTP ignu.ag.in, igno, about igno, division, mbdd, material. This link will help you to track your study material. Uh, means uh, the students who have registered for hard copy study material. So that's thus, uh, this will facilitate you to uh, uh, be patient uh, to receive your study material by post. Others can download soft copy material. Then that problem will be over. Now, you will be thinking about if the study material is in your hand definitely you are thinking about um, counseling sessions you know that uh, the name itself is uh, uh, denoting that it is not teaching it is counseling sessions that means the igno approved faculty members uh, faculty members means approved academic counselors they are not the permanent staff of igno but they are the identified excellent Academicians from different universities, different uh, colleges, means different educational, higher education institutions. They are providing academic counseling sessions to our learners. So these counseling sessions will be available through online counseling sessions now. Because, you know, during this pandemic situation, we were not in a position to come together to attend face-to-face -face contact programs. And uh, Ignu was uh, uh, finding out alternative methods to satisfy our learners. That is what the flexibility and the credibility of open system compared to other system. Sometimes students may be thinking that this uh, regular system is the only uh, system which is facilitating students that, that much. No, the, it was a great learning for us during this pandemic situation. All the gaps were filled up with the e-support services in Ugino. So we were uh, highly privileged with uh, the facilities for online counseling sessions. Ugino was uh, providing online counseling sessions and we were clubbing study centers together and uh, we were scheduling the counseling sessions uh, with the by the request of the uh, study centers concerned with. You know that you are uh, fresh students, you are attached with uh, many study centers 
and that study centers were requesting for counseling sessions schedules and we were giving all the facilities background supports from regional center and students were getting online counseling sessions and for that we were using the platform google meet and uh, uh, sometimes for some of the programs like mapc and all we have lot many students only 100 students are uh, uh, accessible in this uh, google meet sometimes we cannot uh, manage all the students through google meet so what we have done we were recording the classes all the all the counseling sessions were recorded these recorded videos we were keeping in our youtube we were uploading in our youtube channel means regional center coaching's youtube channel and uh, this was facilitating the learners for uh, viewing the uh, already done classes further and further and at any time as per their convenience they can view the down uploaded videos uh, so that is also one important thing why i am telling so for recording these classes uh, students uh, teachers means the counselors all are uh, in a formal way they have to behave some uh, ethics are there means uh, some uh, morals because we you know uh, always we are uh, getting ready for uh, videos if we are taking a YouTube channel video or some other photographs or something, we will be very much conscious about. So that is what the etiquettes we, uh, we mean uh, during this online counseling session. So sometimes uh, because of the uh, heavy, our schedules, all schedules have been changed during this pandemic situation. If the classes are starting at 9, 9 a.m., you may be uh, sometimes uh, sleeping till 8.40 or 8.45, suddenly waking up and uh, jumping uh, out from the bed and on or running and uh, you are opening the google meet platform and all and you are uh, muting it but sometimes this very sensitive equipment sometimes it may be it may become unmuted uh, sometimes unknowingly or something. so if we are ready and we are a very formal manner no problem so that habit of sitting before the system to attend with the attending the counseling sessions how to be maintained from your part that's what we are telling nothing else so because we are recording it so your questions your uh, doubts everything will be facilitating the system if you are um, uh, participating in the study uh, process in a well manner asking questions and all uh, then the academic counselor will also facilitate you as such and that recorded classes will definitely facilitate so many other students. So that is what we are uh, doing now at the scenario of online uh, classes, digital classrooms. So like any other institution of India or especially in Kerala, you know, regional center coaching is also doing like that. So these are the things I have, uh, I had uh, with me to convey uh, uh, regarding the study materials and the um, counseling sessions. So uh, again and again, you go through this one and um, uh, Dr. Gary Ackerman's session is also over. Now, let me uh, uh, hand over this session to our uh, regional director, uh, Madam Dr. J.S. Dorothy, uh, to speak on uh, the matters regarding life skill for a distance learner. Thank you, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Friends, you are listening so far of how to study with the IGNU, the features uh, at IGNU, the significance of the enrollment number, the uh, um, the nature of the facilities available at regional center, the study center, the internal and external assessment at IGNU, the convocation certificate uh, certification procedure, and also the online counseling sessions and the availability of soft copy of study material the e gyan course so with this theoretical background many a time we find it difficult to or we find it challenged i should say to couple our study with our life commitments and social commitments so this life skill uh, session for a distance learner will highlight of what are the skills generally needed by a distance learner to ensure that the access into the program of study leads to successful completion of the program? So what is first of all a life skill? The World Health Organization has defined life skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior 
that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everybody, everyday life. So everybody knows something has to be done and how effectively we do that is with following the ethics, being honest, and at the same time getting things done. That is what a life skill is in an individual. So life skill for a distance learner, we just list, this is not uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, listed ones. It, you can also include some more as the time goes by from your access point of your study to the successful completion. So this honesty, taking one day at a time, persistence, expression of interest, steadfastness, and peer interaction. So I'll just highlight on each of this. Honesty, we have heard about it. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is how you behave when there's no witness for your uh, good behavior or bad behavior. And then whether you are able to do the rules as prescribed or manipulate the rules and uh, lead to uh, and uh, express your thoughts in an aggressive manner so that the whole aspect is uh, diverted from you differing the rules to that of the uh, uh, agony or uh, expression of thoughts. And so when you are expressing uh, or when you are do, uh, using honesty as a life skill, it means it has to be, you have to be honest to the peers. Peer here is just like how you are away from the distance teaching institution and also from individual peers. Each one will be meeting sometimes for the first time, unless otherwise you have attended a promotional camp and you've got accustomed uh, to uh, the various activities in life, either in school level or at job level. And you have to be honest to the authorities also. Many a time when we ask what are the prerequisites you have fulfilled or please show the ID card of IGNU, people and instead of replying negatively saying, I did not bring my ID card, they end up arguing of why we are asking and who is the authority to question. It should not be so, friends. Whenever uh, your identity is asked to be disclosed or we are asking certain uh, discussion to hold good for you to facilitate the access of the program to the successful of program, successful completion of the program of study, please be honest to whoever is questioning you to help you. First, the, may, remember the age question which we pose is to ensure you that uh, you it will lead a step near to the successful completion of the program you study. Please be honest to yourself. Many a time when we there is a practical session, now it is going to be online. Uh, we do feel sometimes that the concept of individual self is lost. Many a time we keep calling for the individual uh, in the practical examination. And they do not turn up, even though they are, we can see them as the one of the participants present. But later they uh, come and give a small complaint telling we we were not called. So you have to be honest to yourself how you are going to express yourself when you are at fault, and how to handle the situation when things are going beyond your expectation. Please be genuine in relationship. Because in peer interaction uh, and also interaction with authorities, many a time on word of mouth, you will be getting help. And when you are getting help without any documentation, for example, some library study material is issued to you for you to photocopy and bring it because you find it difficult to download the study material available in the website. Then be honest to return the study materials. Many a time we do not find such genuineness in the relationship and also in admitting faults. The uh, enrollment number has to be remembered. And if you are not capable of remembering the numbers, please use your identity card to check which digit you are entering it while submitting the assignment response, while submitting the term and examination, and also while paying the fee. Many, and always when you are doing the activity for online interaction, 
please keep a print screenshot of what activity you have done so that it is always easy for you to take a lead of how to move ahead and also how to progress in each of the step. And also be honest that you are by mistake, instead of um, paying for this, they have paid this. What is the procedure to move ahead? It should be like that. So admitting fault will help us to identify what is the hurdle you are currently in and will also help us to facilitate to you to move ahead instead of asking the full, uh, from the basic to the current situation. And please, not, please do not uh, play uh, blame game. In the sense, everybody, there will be some uh, fault. Sometimes it is at yourself or sometimes it is the technology which you are enhancing. And with the current situation of all virtual, we, can, we are also recording the sessions and putting it in the YouTube. So before writing a grievance or expressing yourself, either by any means, whether it is legal or RTI, please check whether the uh, blame is on, on you, whether it, it can be rectifiable, and whether you have sent enough number of attempts, like for example, sending an email to your phone number to solve it, and wait at least for 24 hours to take action. And also, there should not be any suppression or oppression because peers, it's a heterogeneous group. Some will be younger than you, some will be elder to you. And many times we find the learners who, uh, the uh, elder learners suppressing the younger ones. So if you are a younger learner and listening to this induction meeting guideline on being honest, Whenever you find somebody is asking you to write the assignment response on their behalf, that's not permissible. And somebody is not helping you uh, for uh, or asking you to help you in certain of your academic activities, like sharing assignment response or sharing practical work, which needs uh, uniqueness for each activity. And they are uh, they are officially associated or otherwise associated. Do not lead it to to suppression or oppression. So the best honest way is I won't suppress anyone. I won't let anyone oppress me. So that should be your attitude uh, in dealing with people while studying with Indira Gandhi National Open University. But when I'm just talking, this view is also applicable in your daily life. So please take it beyond your study point and be openness. Let there be openness for how to uh, move ahead so because all solutions cannot be tailor-made. Sometimes we have to accommodate you for a certain particular purpose so that the individual is benefited when it comes to long-term motive of successful completion of the program of study. So uh, the we, we were listening to honesty as a life skill for a distance learner. Now I'm going to talk about taking one day at a time. So please take one day at a time. What is the uniqueness of one day at a time is that you have limited plans to be fulfilled in a day. So have a time management. See, there's no point when it's time to submit the assignment response to think about whether you will get leave to write your term and examination. That's not possible because it's uh, maybe your situations today are very dark, but as you near the goal or near the time of term and examinations, things will improve. So have you, your question to yourself or your honest view to yourself should be, have I done what I have to do today? instead of planning for a long term, where many intricacies have to be pushed in to ensure that you move ahead. And do not worry about tomorrow, because many a time plans of today when it is established, it can easily be taken across if you do not worry about tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow? How I will move from my job? How I'll get a leave to write my examination? Will my handwriting be good? Start one day at a time, and it will be easy. And also one task at a time. Many a time in we'll be working on multiple windows, downloading assignment question paper as a downloading a term and exam question paper, downloading study materials, 
but at the end everything will be uh, under process uh, stage so please finish one task before moving ahead to the other and one more thing you should remember friends when it comes to study is you cannot do multitasking while studying for example i can listen to a music and book but i cannot listen to i cannot write assignments and keep listening to the music sometimes i get may get distracted so or watching tv similarly so take one day at a time one task at a time and have a time management do not worry about tomorrow and always remember little drops makes a mighty ocean so every day what you do for your study uh, related issue will a, uh, what is a will enable you to access the program of study into successful completion of the program so do at least a small bit of it what you have to do related to the study like what are the subjects what are scan through the study material what are the topics there what how many blocks are there how many units is there which i am familiar with which i have to concentrate is there any coverage of this study material in the uh, or the course code in the YouTube channel videos already uploaded in Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Center, Kochin YouTube channel. All that you need to check and uh, and you can relate it to it at least one step nearer to your study makes a lot of difference. And remember friends, at least all problems related to study have a solution. So be bold to take the process targeting at a solution. Sometimes you may have to have a waiting period. So waiting period is not denial or asking you to uh, do what is against your wish. And many times do not uh, uh, travel all the way to come to regional center. So send a mail. In your mail, you should have your program of study. What is your problem? The phone number which you will pick up many times we many a time we have the phone number which is never picked up uh, by the learner and do at least something related to your study in a day so friends you are listening to honesty as a life skill and now to taking one day at a time or ability to take one day at a time as a life skill now i am moving on to persistence as a life skill for a distance learner and you would have heard about a story many a time the uh, uh, what is it the people who are caught in a problem they give up when it is the nearing a solution so do not give up it is over only when you give up so sustenance or of interest and persistence to do what you have to do and looking for help from authorities by sending email or looking into the study center by sending an email will help you to achieve what you have to do in related to study and it is like slow cycling it is not 100 meter dash so if why it is called slow cycling there is a minimum period of study there is a maximum period of study so within the minimum period of study there are deadlines and prerequisites the rules to govern when it comes to assignment response filling in the term and examination, and also writing the term and examination. And ultimately, certification matters a lot in this uh, process of study. And little effort matters. Uh, if you just relate to the earlier discussion also, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. We all, all know the poem, but still, why we are hesitating to do a little uh, effort when it comes to study? It uh, is always concerned about the attitude to give up. So are you really interested or showing interest to successfully complete the program which you have enrolled? Like how you showed the interest to enroll for the program. Whenever you want to give up when it comes to study, always remember three things. It will surely have spin-off benefits. Sometimes the spin-off benefits will be beyond your imaginable uh, achievement. Sometimes it will keep an edge over your career. Sometimes even on the cadre, same cadre, there won't be any loophole for your authorities to say that you are not qualified. So little effort matters to acquire a, a program of study. 
as an educational qualification will have a lot of spin off benefits once you have cured it. So be optimistic. Whenever you want to give up, please uh, uh, go through uh, your intention of why you enrolled for the program and where you are stuck up. And whenever you have a, some problem, administrative problem, please send an email even to Regional Center Cochin, rccochin at ignu.ac.in. But whenever you are sending an email, please be uh, honest to state the program. Problem, what uh, made you to, uh, I mean, what is a commit that problem or the hurdle you have to cross? And also, what is the uh, solution you have arrived in your mind? For example, you have not up, uh, applied for the term and examination. The last date is already over. There's always a slot called late uh, fee submission. So many people come in that uh, bridging time to accommodate in the earlier session. No, it is not possible. So you should be optimistic. At least you have opportunity to write your examination by paying late fee. So you should be uh, willing to move ahead in the next direction to ensure that your target is achieved. And always view uh, hurdles as stepping stones. So many times we apply for exam, we are unable to write on the day you'll be sent to on some official work or for uh, some other good reason or family get together. Plus, please view as the waiting time optimistically as a stepping stone for your access to culminate in the successful completion of the program. So you were uh, listening to honesty as a life skill, take ability to take one day at a time as a life skill, the persistence as a life skill, and now it's time to uh, listen to expression of interest as a life skill. See, many a time we, uh, we express ourselves when we are angry, but when we are calm, we do not express ourselves. So please be genuine when you express yourself, but do not threaten or link with your job profile. Many a time we listen to our learners. Immediately, if you ask, ask them to fulfill certain uh, eligibility criteria, or they, we ask them the prerequisites, or we ask them what is the main aim for them to move ahead or show their identity. Immediately, they threaten, I know so and so, and what do you know whom where I am working? Okay. Remember, when you enter an educational institution, you are a student. And when you enter a place of work, you are just an employee. So linking about the different aspects of your societal placement is not going to help yourself when you want to express yourself. And there is a help desk uh, and always in the reception. So whenever you are contacting the help desk, even if you have sent an email, remember it will take some time for us to understand your problem. Problem, and also there will be some time waiting time for you have to have to uh, arrive at a solution. So when you are at a help desk, be polite when you have a complaint also. So it is not always that you are wrong or the university is wrong. There should be some collaboration and cooperation between the university and the learner to ensure that the problem is solved. And in Indira Gandhi National Open University, we encourage inclusive or integrated classroom. And we do not mind if uh, without any assistive devices or any assistance from any other human being, the individuals uh, come to the integrated or in inclusive classroom. But if you are not confident to handle yourself alone, please express yourself to the academic counselors or the invigilators who are present at the time uh, of your need or to anyone who is near you think it is associated with the institution. Especially we find it in the when people uh, want to answer to the nature call. So you be aware whether you time your physical need and you also be aware where the toilet is and how long it will take for you to move. 
if you have a special need and you all and always there is a, a need for every human being so expressing a, a, of interest is the first prerequisite for you to get what you want especially when you are at the receiving end and personal hygiene products like diaper pad everything if you are a women candidate you need to have it because that may stress during learning, stress during term and examination, writing examination, all that do aggravate our physical body also. So whatever you need when it comes to your personal hygiene, you should be having it handy. So expressing or expression of interest when it comes to using your personal hygiene is also one to keep the uh the physical arrangements for the toilet facilities clean for the next user so many a time we find people do not dispose the personal hygiene product properly I put it in the sink instead of in the proper disposable uh, bin and the like and make the toilet not non-usable or non uh, or not suitable to be used for the next user so it also the next user uh uh, express the grievance and it is a cyclic phenomena so be honest and be uh, take responsibility to dispose your own personal hygiene products in the respective place and request to exercise the element of discretion to uh, that is to accept beyond last date many a time that is what one uh, somebody uh, explained it that we, um, beyond the last date only sometimes we get our uh, what is a mindset to finish the work yes we do uh, accommodate even beyond the last date but it is at the element of discretion of the coordinator of the learner support center so you should know the email id of the learner support center and which study center you are attached to also to place your need to express your interest of submission of the assignment response beyond the last date. And there are uh, learners who have special need or medical need. Uh, and, and they come to the regional center hall, and please express yourself. See, now our dress code is so uh, different. We can't physically make out the silhouette of the physical body also. So viewing each of the individual, we won't be able to check whether you need uh, the special any need any special assistance or you have any medical need uh, which you have to bring along. So it is better that you express your interest if it is a special need, like suppose uh, a learner has met with an accident, and in spite of uh, be not being a differently able, she prefers to write uh, the examination in the ground floor please express in the help desk and similarly medical needs sometimes you may like to have some mm, some food or some snacks in between because of your physical uh, medical need or due to your uh, uh, the ailment also at that time please get a written permission before so it is not that we do not want to allow that's why we are asking you for writing no because when we are allowing you to eat in an examination hall we also need of how we have to uh, show to others that we are accommodating you because of your special need or medical need and if you have any physical ailment or if you know that you cannot uh, answer, uh, control when there is a urge to answer to the nature call please always bring a spare dress Many a time we find learners waiting in the toilet to ensure that the dress is dried up. And when it is rainy or when it is examination time, it also affects their performance in writing examination or attending to the practical face-to-face uh, -face, uh, sessions, which are mandatory for some programs. So please have a spare dress. And if you, you are traveling, always uh, bring what you need but if in case you got wet or if you are unable to do what you have to do in a normal physical condition 
So friends, you are listening to the life skill for a distance learner. Uh, honesty as a, uh, as a life skill. The taking the ability to take one day at a time as a life skill. The persistence as a life skill and expression of interest as a life skill. And now it's time to listen to steadfastness. See, steadfastness is the determination to finish. So you have a dedication uh, to find, uh, to a um, dedicated mind to ensure that you move ahead with your activity of uh, term, term and examination or the study materials which is there. There was a small uh, lapse in uh, the PowerPoint use. So I'll just link what it is easy so that it is also useful for you to have an activity. Friends, you were listening to the life skill for a distance learner. We have touched upon honesty as a life skill, the, the ability to take one day at a time as a life skill, the persistence as a life skill, the expression of interest as a, as a life skill. And now we are going to talk about steadfastness as a life skill for a distance learner. The steadfastness is the determination to do things. So you, when you have dedicated yourself uh, to study, you may have to sacrifice other leisure time activities. Many a time we say time management is not there and uh, how to be honest in time management is that you dedicate yourself and prioritize yourself. And commitment should be there to do the best at all time. And as I shared with you in earlier presentation also, there is always a spin of benefits when you acquire an additional educational qualification. So please focus on spin of benefits, which will help you to move ahead in life. And the last one in the life skill is the peer interaction. It is the necessity in distance learning because you are away from the uh, distance teaching institution and also uh, from the peers. But when using peer interaction as a life skill, please remember not to join peer who are demanding or threatening. And do not pe join peer who will uh, work against other individuals or write something bad about the institution because your time is limited to for you to study and you, you it's better that you prioritize your free time to study rather than uh, to focus on other things beyond learning as you are doing the learning process along with your job commitments your social needs and your personal challenges and do not join peer who oppress or suppress others and you do not join peer who initiate unrest and be cautious of whom you are associating. As even the distance teaching institution do not have any confidential profile of individual learner. Many a time we come across, we are forced to share this information because many a time the student share, just like how you visit the regional center, some other student also visit and the lounge during the waiting period, you may get accustomed to each other. And if you lend your assignment response, the university may not take responsibility for the student to come again. So it is based on your mutual trust and how best people are responding to the genuineness in their relationship. So you were listening so far to the life skill needed for a distance learner. I shared about honesty, that is uh, the ability to take one day at a time, persistence, the expression of interest, the steadfastness and peer interaction. And I want to leave with a small message of how you have to be optimistic. And this story is always uh, viewed in so many uh, instances, but still I want to share. A man was having two pot in his hand. One was with a, a hole, the other one was without a hole. 
And one day the uh, pot with the hole felt bad, telling that uh, I am not able to bring full uh, capacity of the water for the you. Whereas the man said, don't worry, even if you have the hole, you turn back along the side which you have traveled, I've kept rose plants or the bushes, which will help me to uh, have a coolness when I'm walking to fetch my water. So friends, whatever situation it may be that you are placed, maybe you're a full pot or a broken pot. Remember there is one uh, element called spiritual intelligence, which helps us to trust something beyond human beings to ensure that our uh, tomorrow, which we are fearing, will be ease when it becomes today for us. So with this life skill uh, thought, I hand over the session to Dr. Prasita Unikrishnan, who will share about what you have heard so far. And, and it will be like a let us sum up a session and it will be a checklist for the learner. So uh, over to Dr. Prasita Unikrishnan. Thank you so much, dear learners. All of you must have been uh, patiently hearing to what our resource persons have said till now. There, are, there was a lot of information uh, which was shared amongst all of you. And uh, I'm sure with such a, a huge amount of information, it's definitely better that I let me share you all some information as a sum up or as a checklist of what some of the do's and don'ts of being an IGNO learner. So first and foremost is your, you should remember your enrollment number, your 10 digit enrollment number has to be remembered till the time till you complete your program successfully from IGNO. Along with that, you need to remember the program code, like for every program has a program code. For example, MA psychology program, its program code is MEPC. Uh, students who have joined for BA general program, the program code is PAG. Similarly, for every program, there is a program code and the code has to be remembered by each and every student. Then you have the course codes. Now, the course codes are the subjects which you would be studying in your first year or your first semester. So the course code also you need to remember for every subject there is a specific code. So that code also has to be remembered by you as a student of IGNO. Secondly, what I would like to inform you all is you need to check your registration details uh, thoroughly, your registration details can be checked from the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in under the student zone. I know many of the students are already checking this registration details, and many of them have already been putting their uh, emails and uh, grievances through iGram as well, informing that the registration details are not available under student zone. Uh, students who have taken admission very recently, uh, it takes at least uh, or 15 days for the student uh, for the registration details to get updated under the IGNO website. Hence, don't worry for the students whose admission is confirmed. Definitely, your registration uh, your student details will be uploaded under the student zone. Please check for the uh, any discrepancies, whether your name, the spelling, your address, your email ID, your contact details, everything is correct. Please check that. Please check the minimum duration and maximum duration of the program of your study. So within that maximum duration, the student is expected to complete his program. Since there is no provision of free admission in IGNO presently, the student has to complete his or her program within the maximum validity period. Further, you for any change in the name, address, phone number, please write to Regional Center Cochin at RC Cochin at the rate igno.ac.in. I was just looking at some of the Facebook comments with the students were putting up. 
Uh, many of them were uh, asking uh, which is the email address for uh, Regional Center Cochin. So I would just like to repeat for those students who are listening to us, our email ID is rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. For any queries uh, pertaining to the course you are pursuing, please enclose your IGNO ID card uh, so that it will be easy for us to answer your queries in a better manner. As I already told, and many of the resource persons have already shared, ID card is a very important document and which has to be kept uh, downloaded. And you need this document, especially while writing your term and examinations of IGNO. You also need it if your subject has a project by work component for the same. Also, you need your IGNO ID card. And during the convocation, once you have to receive your original degree certificate at that point of time, also IGNO ID card is very, very essential. Hence, Please download the IGNO ID card from the uh, IGNO Samarth portal and please keep it safely till the time you complete your program successfully from IGNO. The next uh, point which I would like to highlight is the hard copy of the study materials are being sent by post and uh, a hard copy of the study materials include the program guide. The program guide is a very important uh, uh, document uh, uh, which helps you to uh, successfully complete your program because the do's and don'ts pertaining to the program are given in the program guide. So every student uh, uh, who has enrolled in this July 2021 session needs to, uh, even if you have not received it by hard copy, please try and download the program guide of your respective program from the e Kosh website and kindly go through it thoroughly, especially uh, for all the newly enrolled learners of uh, undergraduate programs. Also, since I'm receiving a lot of queries on IGRAM pertaining to the uh, mode of study of, uh, of your program, definitely you should download this program guide and, and try going through it. Next, you should also be remembering the name of your study center, uh, which is your study center, the code, the address, the email ID, and the contact numbers. Uh, since the last date of uh, admissions have just closed yesterday, so uh, the data is being consolidated to be sent to the study centers. For those who have registered for semester and certificate uh, programs, definitely they can visit the study centers and uh, and the first hand information can be taken about the address, email ID, and contact numbers. They are also given in our regional center coaching website as well. And uh, the next very, very important point is about re-registration. Uh, re-registration, especially for the learners who have got admitted uh, for the second and third year, pro two years and three year program, especially uh, those who are pursuing BA program, BCom, BSc programs, and uh, master's level program of IGNO, they need to re-register for the second year or the, or the semester-based program definitely have to re-register right now. Like for students who are uh, pursuing MCA, BCA, uh, such students, uh, the re-registration portal is presently open and the last date it has been extended till 31st of December. So those who, students who are pursuing MCA, BCA, PG diploma programs and MBA programs, semester-based programs, they need to re-register for their second semester right now. And especially for those students who are doing their graduation and PG level programs, they have to re-register only in the July 2022 uh, session. So that means uh, the re-registration portal will open for the July 2022 session, maybe in the month of April 2022. So for students who are studying uh, master's level and undergraduate programs like BA General, though uh, it's a choice-based credit system, uh, you have to pay yearly fees. That is for the second year fees. You have to pay maybe in the month of April 2022 only. It's also informed the change of electives is not possible for the CBCS programs, especially for those students who, general, uh, who have registered for BA General and Honors, BCom General and Honors, and BSc General and Honors after the July 20, 2019 session. Uh, change of uh, courses, change of subjects, because many of the requests are coming for change of subjects uh, pertaining to the program you have uh, registered. So change of electives is not possible. And uh, with respect to assignment questions, the same has to be downloaded from the IGNO website under student zone. You can download the assignment questions and please try uh, 
and attempt the latest assignment questions and assignment questions have to be written in your own handwriting and has to be submitted through hard copy or soft copy as per the link which is available on the RC Cochin website. Term and examinations as it was all informed is uh, specifically held twice a year, maybe in, in June and December due to the pandemic situation, only some delay has happened. Uh, the examination forms can be submitted online only and all question papers pertaining to the same uh, to, the, to the examinations can also be downloaded from the IGNO website under student zone. Uh, so students who are interested in referring the past five years of question paper, definitely for them it will be benefited as they will get an idea about the type of questions which are being asked. And definitely if you refer the past five years question paper, uh, this will be uh, very much useful for you to write your examinations uh, for the program you are pursuing. And the provisional certificate and grade card is being directly sent by student evaluation division, IGNO headquartered Delhi. So uh, once you come, your grade card gets completed, it takes minimum 45 days for SCD to send your provisional certificate and grade card to your registered address. The address which you give at the time of admission to the same address, the provisional and grade card is being issued by Student Evaluation Division, IGNO Headquarter, Delhi. Uh, you must all have got a message about the induction guidelines. Uh, it's a nine page booklet, which is uploaded on the IGNO, on the RC Cochin website, http rccochin.igno.ac.in. In fact, the induction guidelines gives complete information of how you can successfully complete your program with IGNO. So definitely, uh, all dear learners, you should definitely take advantage of this document and please try and download this document and uh, please go through it thoroughly as this will definitely help you to know the nitty gritties of how you can complete your program successfully from IGNO. Even the uh, induction video are also uploaded on the RC Cochin website and also is available on the YouTube channel of IGNO. Lastly, uh, we have been uh, receiving many requests uh, for those students who are unable to download their IGNO ID card. Supposing if you have uh, taken admission through some cyber cafe or something like that, may, wherein you are not able to download your ID card. For those students, I would just like to inform that uh, you can download your ID card yourself just log into uh, this uh, website, https igno.samarth.edu.in. Once you log into this website, the screenshot will show like this, and you have to click on new registration. Uh, you have to click, a, uh, you have to create a username and password as you create in an email ID. And once you create your username and password, you can log into this uh, uh, Igno Samarth portal and there is uh, something which is uh, shown in the red box, which is the ID card. Your ID card can be downloaded uh, you, under this website and once you download your ID card, uh, it's in a PDF format and the enrollment number is the password to open this file. So for those students, just for the information of those students who are unable to download their ID card, I'm just repeating, you can de definitely download your ID card on your own through this website. That is the HTTPS slash slash ignu.samarth.edu.in. However, in case you are still unable to download your ID card, please write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. Uh, writing your enrollment number and subject and we would definitely download the ID card for you and send it to you. So thank you all for listening to me patiently. Uh, uh, I have given a brief checklist on what you can do as an IGNO student. So uh, finally, I would like to end with a few words like self-motivation is the key to being an IGNO learner. And I am sure with this self-motivation uh, within you, you will all be definitely able to complete your program successfully from IGNO. Uh, on behalf of all at IGNO Regional Center Cochin, my colleagues, my regional director, Dr. G.S. Dorothy Madam, my colleagues, Dr. Dr. V.T. Uh, Jalja Kumari, Dr. Vijay Raghavan, uh, Ms. Sujani Babu, uh, 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 Dr. L. Chandra Shekhar, uh, and myself, all of us are very grateful to you that all of you 
patiently listened to us in this Facebook live session. And I also thank all our coordinators uh, of the LSEs who also participated in this Facebook live session. And I'm also grateful to our technical uh, support, uh, which was extended to us by our colleague, uh, Shri Ansar, who, who has been live streaming this session. And he, in fact, he was the main person uh, uh, due to whom this uh, session has been possible. And a big gratitude is being expressed us to him as well. So uh, very th thankful to all of you. I'm sure uh, this session would have been helpful to you. And with this, I close the session. Thank you once again.